Meet me over at the Groovy Grotto. I got some NFTs for ya. Come on. Meta establishes a four-foot personal boundary to deter VR groping. In the real world, the idea of personal space is ingrained from a young age and enforced mainly by unspoken interpersonal contract and subtle social pressure. In the, in the world of virtual reality, on the other hand, Facebook parent Meta, Meta World Peace, is now using software to enforce a four-foot zone of personal space for each avatar in the metaverse style. Social spaces. Look. Arms distance, please. As de detailed in the recent post, Meta's Horizon Worlds and Horizon Venue spaces now include default personal boundary spaces to prevent avatars from coming within a set distance of each other, creating more personal space for people and making it easier to avoid unwanted interactions. You know what? Good. We take, we, I know we like to take the piss. Is that something people say? Take the piss? Out of out of the metaverse, out of this virtual space, but um, you know what? Good on good because it really is kind of like annoying if you're in VR chat or if you're in any game where there's like a a massive online component to it, and uh, people are just stacking on each other, right? It just it, it does actually a few different things. One, when that happens, um, the density in one particular area. Uh, actually becomes very hard to to make sure that like things like VoIP works, right? If anyone watches GTA No Pixel, um, you'll notice that if people are congregated in an area too like too many people in one area, voice chat in in game doesn't work. Uh, it becomes really fucked up. Uh, but also other things start happening. Like this, there's only one server for this place, so uh, people who are you know, with with longer latencies, they'll they have even longer lag issues, and uh, they they're bound to get disconnected. So, so from a technical standpoint, making an area an area of effect around you a shield, perhaps, um, actually limits the amount of people in any one given space. So, this is actually from a technical perspective, um, probably better because you now. In one area, you don't have to host all these things that every single avatar is supposed to come with. Like, it comes with a voice chat. It comes with the ability to, like, real-time, do real-time vision. It comes with the ability to sync across different apps and whatnot. So, so from a technical standpoint, this is good. But from just a social standpoint, if you've ever played any video games in a massive online scenario, everyone has heard of Club Penguin. Perhaps in this chat, everyone has heard of Habo Hotel. There are some ungood things that happen on these platforms. You have not? Well, consider yourself lucky, sweet summer child. Uh, these are like virtual online areas that were, that were actually designated, that was supposed to be for like kids. But then like evil of the internet found. Well, exactly. Pools closed, exactly. So the evil of the internet would find these places. And, uh, and remember, massive online, avatar-based chat rooms, you can do some nefarious things. Some, some ranging from, like, lol trolling to despicable. Will they make the, a metaverse jail for metaverse criminals? It's not, it's, not a, it's not a bad idea, you know. Time out for the naughty ones. Just use Second Life on dial-up, that's... Oh, God. Second Life trolling? Well, never mind. I'm not even going to get into it. Is Meta's doing something good for once? I mean, it's not that they did anything bad. It's not the thing. They just did something that no one wanted. Like, no one asked for the Metaverse. No one asked for World of Warcraft without the War Warcraft. No one asked for VR chat, but Facebooked. You know, no one asked for this, but here we are with it. And so when no one asks for something, you're just going to get memed on. We literally live in the world of who asked. We are in the who asked meta of, of social aspects of the internet right now. The system, in effect, can set up invisible cylinders two foot radius around a surrounding avatar. If a user movement would cause two cylinders to overlap, the system will halt their movement, uh, halt their forward movement as they reach a boundary without, uh, 
Any other overt feedback to users will be able to jointly reach outside their personal boundary for interactions, like high fives or fist bumps. Uh, having the system will be on by default and will help set behavioral norms, and that's important for a relatively new medium like VR. Meta's recent personal space announcement makes references to existing hand harassment measures that were already in place, but it's unclear what those measures entailed or when they were first Im implemented. Avatar hands would disappear if, encroached, if they encroached upon someone's personal space. We launched Horizon Worlds as an invite-only beta in 2020. We knew this was just the beginning, and over time we would be iterating on improving based off community feedback. We are constantly sh shipping new features based on feedback, including this one. As I said, I, I, I think this is good. The only issue with the metaverse, who is actually... Like, who is actually this end user? I don't know anyone! Who is the end user for this? Does anyone here hang out in Horizon Worlds? Any Horizoners in chat? I'm an NFT dealer in the metaverse. I'm an NFT dealer in the metaverse. Hey, meet me over at the Groovy Grotto. I got some NFTs for ya. Come on, I'm over here by Sunshine Station. Interested in any NFTs?